Hi everyone. So today I will talk about microbial growth rate kinetics. And this topic is very important in terms of many of the competitive examinations like GATE, DBT and GATB examination. And the entire growth rate kinetics lies among the 4 to 5 formulas. So you need to remember those formulas and you are good to go in this topic. So let us begin. First of all, let us assume our initial number of bacterial cell is N0. So N0 is our initial number of bacterial cell and after time t the cell number become nt. So nt is the final number of bacterial cell and t here is the total time. Now let us assume about a very small time span b dt and in this dt time the increase in cell number is dn. So now what will be the rate of change in cell number? So we can write the rate of change in cell number as dn by dt. Fine. In the next step, we can write it as dn by dt is proportional to n where n is the final number of cell. In the next step, let us resume, uh, let us remove the proportional to sign by equal to. So as we have removed the proportional to sign with equal to, so now here is a constant mu. Okay. And this mu, this constant mu is known as specific growth rate constant. It is a specific growth rate constant. In the next step, we are cross multiplying it. So we are writing it as dn by n equal to mu into dt. Next step is the integration. So uh, we are integrating the left hand side from n0 to nt and the right hand side from 0 to t. In the next step we can write it as integration again after solving the integration we can write it as natural log of n we are integrating it from n0 to nt is equal to mu into t and integrating it from 0 to t. Again, we can write it as natural log of nt minus natural log of n0 equal to mu into t. Again, this can be expressed as natural log of nt divided by n0 is equal to mu into t. This is our first formula. You need to remember this. This is our first formula and this is very important. In the next step, we will determine the formula of generation time. And this generation time is denoted by G. So what is this generation time? It is the time span in which the bacteria doubles their number. 
So, from equation number 1, we can write it as in, in a single generation time, we can write it as natural log of 2 into n0 divided by n0. Why? Because after one generation, bacteria will double its number. So, if the initial number of bacterial cell is n0, then after one generation, the number of bacterial cell will be 2 into n0. Fine. So, that is equal to mu into t. Then we can write it as natural log of 2 equal to mu into g. Why I am writing g here? Because uh, g is the generation time and he here the bacteria has performed one generation. Then value of uh, natural log of 2 is equal to 0 0.693 equal to mu into g then g equal to 0.693 divided by mu this is the second formula again this also is very important now let us talk about another formula We all know that uh, bacteria divides by binary fission. That means from one cell it will become two cell from two to four, four to eight and so on. So we can say that it is multiplying at a power of two. Okay. So this can be generalized by the equation nt equal to n0 into two to the power n. This is our third formula and an important one. Here n is the number of generation. Now if we solve this formula by taking natural log both sides then it will come up as natural log of nt equal to natural log of n0 plus n into natural log of 2. Now, from this equation, let us uh, solve the value of n. This n, value of this n we will be solving. So, let us do it. So, you can write it as natural log of nt minus natural log of n0 is equal to n into natural log of 2. So, from here the value of n will be natural log of nt minus natural log of n0 divided by natural log of 2. This is our fourth equation. This is the fourth equation. Again, there is one more formula of generation time G. Uh, that is G equal to T divided by N. Where T is the total time and N is again the number of generation. So, we can determine the formula, the value of generation time from this formula when the total time and the number of generation is given to us. So, this will be the fifth formula. And one more thing the here that is uh, growth, growth constant. Okay. Growth constant is uh, denoted by K. And this growth constant is different from the specific growth rate constant that we have uh, discussed earlier. It is different from the specific growth rate constant mu. And how it is different and all for that I will uh, talk about in some other video. Now this growth constant k 
is written as 1 divided by g. So as g equal to t by n, so now k will be equal to 1 by g that means 1 divided by t by n. So k can be written as n by t. This is our fifth and last formula. Sorry, sixth and last formula. So, you need to remember all these formulas and uh, that is and you are uh, done in this topic.